Hello to all. Welcome to Bibliotin. Today we will be discussing about thyroid gland, mainly the parts and features and the capsule. And the following videos will contain the relations and the blood supply of thyroid gland. Starting off with parts and features, it is important to remember all your figures in neat MDS perspective. So we are discussing everything with the help of figures. The thyroid gland is H-shaped. As you can see, the thyroid gland is H-shaped. So how the H-shape is formed? The gland has two lateral lobes, the left and right lobe of the thyroid glands. And one important point which we need to remember is the extent of this lateral lobes is until the fifth or sixth tracheal rings. Here you can see the tracheal rings going on. So the extend is until the 5th to 6th tracheal rings. Next, these lateral lobes are connected by horizontal isthmus. Horizontal isthmus. Now the horizontal isthmus, its extent is from the 2nd tracheal ring to the 4th tracheal ring. 2nd tracheal ring, here you can see the 2nd tra tracheal ring to the 4th tracheal ring. This is mainly about the parts that is two lateral lobes and a connecting horizontal isthmus. Now sometimes there will be a small pyramidal lobe. Here you can see the small pyramidal lobe from the left part of the isthmus and connecting from there to the hyoid bone you can see levator glandular thyroidae. You can see the green color structure, levator, glandular, thyroid. This is not seen in every case. Sometimes this pyramidal lobe and this levator, glandular, thyroid can be found. Now we had discussed about the head shape, lateral lobe, horizontal isthmus, pyramidal lobe and levator, glandular, thyroid. This is mainly about the parts and features. Coming to the capsule, there is a true capsule which encircles the thyroid gland. The true capsule you can see in this violet color, you can see the true capsule and the, it is made up of the fibrous stroma of the gland and there is a false capsule. Outside you can see a false capsule. Here a speciality is the venous plexus is deep inside the true capsule. There is a false capsule in the green color. After that, there is a true capsule in the violet color. Then you can see the venous plexus in the blue color. It is deep inside. Therefore, during thyroidectomy, the true capsule is also removed. The false capsule, it is made up of your pretracheal fascia, which is later extending to your hyoid bone your hyoid bone but also in the medial surface of the thyroid lobe here you can see the medial surface of the thyroid lobe this is the this is the medial surface of your thyroid lobe and here you can see it is thickening to form the suspensory ligament of peri. You can see a white structure. That is your suspensory ligament of peri which connects it to the cricoid cartilage. Yet another important point is that thyroid gland can move up and down during swallowing. Here you can see during swallowing imagine that is your thyroid gland moving up and down during swallowing because of the attachment to this cartilage and hyoid bone therefore it is easy to diagnose your thyroid swelling so that's all for today now coming to the question isthmus of thyroid gland is across the tracheal rings we had discussed this part we know it is second to fourth this is pretty easy question you can start doing more questions from this part that's all for today thank you for watching do subscribe to our channel